Okay, so I'm going to come on here because this is way overdue and I was supposed to do it a while ago. Um, I have so many stories to tell you guys about um, the second coming and the dreams I've seen and martial law, everything. <laughs> so I'm going to come on here. I don't care how many views. Well, I do care about views because I want you guys to to listen to what I have to say, but I don't care about the popularity on YouTube or nothing like that. I just want to get my point across because the Lord wants me to, okay? And I have to tell you guys because it's important. So, with that being said, oh, one more thing. Before I get started, I don't need anybody to tell me what I have experienced, okay? That not going to fly with me. I can't sit there and be like, well, I listen to you. And you don't know me. And you telling me that I was hallucinating. No, I wasn't. Nope. I have a connection with the Lord and the Lord answered all my prayers. And sometimes you got to be careful what you ask for. Okay. And the most high gave them to me before I even knew what they really, really, really meant because I didn't, I didn't expect to be honest. I didn't even expect for him to answer me like he did so all right um i'm going to start with one story and this is going to be a quick one because my phone is about to die and i have to regroup on my dreams and i have to break all this stuff down okay for you guys so this is going to be video one okay so i remember i was in the hospital I guess this was a hospital because I, it had chairs like a waiting room um, over to the left of me. Um, the vision I was looking at, imagine you in a room. There's a door in front of, in front of me. And there's sitting chairs over to the left. And I, have, I say probably about 10, 8 to 10 at the most. And um, it was a couch like this one behind me but it wasn't this color or nothing like that it was just a couch and it was a wall so basically you know you have space between the couch and the wall probably about two feet of space okay from the wall all right so i remember i was in this room and it was eight people or ten people sitting to the left of me i heard gunshots i heard so many gunshots i think this was martial law because they was gathering people up and they was killing people. They was killing. I, they were just killing folks. So I walked to the room. I walked to the door and looked to my right. And it was a, it's a hallway. So I looked to the right. And I see men in black. Black pants. They, they It kind of reminded me of the military uniforms. You know, you see in the army or something. That type of fabric. But instead of the ACUs, it was black. Just black pants. Black boots. Black uh, shirt. Some of them had... I think some of them had uh, skull caps and some of them didn't have nothing on their face. They had big rifles. They had, they were just loaded. I could tell you that. They were loaded with weapons and stuff. They were, you could tell they were evil. Okay. So when I looked to the right, it scared me. I was like, oh, shoot. So when it scared me, these people over here kind of had me like, well, don't y'all hear this? Don't y'all hear this? Why aren't y'all running? So, in my mind, I'm like, okay, you get up out of here. So, I jumped over behind the couch quickly. And when I did, I saw my friend. There was a hallway behind the couch going to the left where the people were sitting at. There was a long hallway. So, I said, she said, what you doing behind the couch? I said, shut up. I said, get down. She got, I pulled her. I said, damn, I pulled her. And she was with another girl. Now, I don't know who this girl was, but she, um, she was there with her i pulled both of them down and i said get down get down they're shooting they're shooting they're killing people she's like what 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 how did you not hear all these gunshots like gunfire she didn't hear none of it so it was a basement a lock uh, a basement door i mean um, on the floor and it was like that so when you open it you know there's some stairs going down it was like that so i was like okay y'all come on let's go go i told them to go first and then i closed the hatch back and i locked it so we we stood there for a minute and it was dark down there but we stood there for a minute because we didn't want them to hear us running down the steps so we kind of like stopped 
And the weird thing is, now I'm going to stop the, the story right here for a second. I think I was in the spirit. I wasn't in human form because I noticed that the people to the left of me didn't see me when I ran behind that couch. They didn't see me go under the floorboard. They didn't see none of that. So I'm like, okay, how? That's why I'm kind of like, it was confusing at, at first. And um, the men came around and my cat. The men came around with guns. It was two of them. And I remember them saying in another language, it wasn't English, it was another language. And they, I can remember them saying, where did she go? And I could understand that. And I'm like, and I could see through the floorboard as well. I could see them. That's how I knew I was in the spirit at that time. Uh, and they left. So we ran down them steps so quick. And we were running. We were running. <laughs> we ended up on the other side of the building on the ground. And that's where I saw my twin sister. Some friends of mine. I'm not going to mention no name. I seen uh, some people I knew. Um, and some people I didn't know. So they were downstairs, like, huddled up together. I'm like, okay, one thing, we need to go. We need to go. Because they finna come down here. I just knew they were going to come down there. And as soon as I said that, they opened the door. Now, this this basement, it wasn't like the one that was on the ground where you could lift it up. This was actually a door. You can go step down the wall. So when you keep going, then you can see. They, they did that. They were looking at everybody. And they had the guns pointed at everybody. They said, everybody, get upstairs. And uh, my friend said something. I don't remember what she said to them. He kicked her in the face, went, blood went everywhere. I was like, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. And everybody was like, freaking out. Don't do that. Da, 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 da. They told everybody get, to, get upstairs. Had the guns draw at people's heads. Just go, go, go. I was down there. They didn't see me. I stayed down there. They didn't see me. I told my twin sister, everything's going to be okay. Just do what they say. If you get a chance to run, run. Like, run. I will see y'all soon. Just go. I said, I love y'all. They went upstairs, and the guy came back to look down there. He didn't see nobody. He, I was down there, but he didn't see me. So when they all went up there, I was crying at this time. I was freaking out. Like, I was freaking out because they took my twin, man. They took my sister. They took people I knew. So I ran to the opposite, other opposite end of the hotel, um, not hotel, but the, um, I guess this was a hospital. I came from up underground and went to my mom's room. And my mom, now, let me tell y'all something. My mom is the type, she don't know any of this stuff going on in the world, okay? She, her brain, for some reason, it, it can't comprehend it. And it frustrates me because it's, that's my mom. And I don't want her staying here or going through the tribulation. I don't want her here. So she um, she sleeps. And I'm going to tell you how she sleeps. She sleeps like this with the blanket over her head. So you can see the top part of her head. She was sleeping like that with the TV on. I ran in her room. I locked that door. I said, Mama, get up. She wouldn't get up. So I had to go over there and shake her. She finally woke up. And I said, Mom, get up. You don't hear what's going on. She said, no. Remind, now remember, she's asleep of this world, so she didn't hear none of this going on, okay? I had to bring her up to speed, like, okay, they're doing this, they're doing that, they're doing this. I show, I would just look on TV, the news was on. They, they, everything was on the news, you know, everything was messed up. So, um, she started to freak out. She said, what did I do? I said, mama, I tried to tell you a long time ago, wake up, wake up, wake up, but you won't do it. Now you finna be stuck. She said, what you mean? Like, she just didn't get it. So I didn't want to fool with that right now. I was trying to figure out how to get to safety. So at this time, I opened the door. I cracked it probably that, that much to look out in the hallways to see if anybody was out there. Nobody was quiet. Opened it again. 15 seconds later, it was crowded with people. I don't know where these people came from, but it was crowded. Um, There was a black lady. She was very calm collective like she just whatever was going on it didn't bother her i could that's how i could tell you it didn't bother her she had a clipboard in her hand and a pen she said when i call your name please step forward and i'm like okay how she can she be calm <laughs> during this like this is terrible so she called my name. The little now the little girl I knew her. Her that was the one. Her mom got, is the one that got kicked in the face in the basement. So I wanted her to stay with me 
Cause she asked me where her mom was. I said, you'll see your mom soon. You'll see your mom soon. Everything will be, be okay. I seen her earlier. So I'm gonna look after you until I see her. She said, okay. So I had her. The lady called all the, like a lot of people up. But my mama, she didn't get called. She was still in the crowd with the people. Like frantic, like, well, why y'all not taking us? Why? The lady said, calm down. So my mom was like, why are you not taking me? She was starting to cry and stuff. It's like I felt bad for her, but at the same time, I didn't because I told her I want my mom and everything. I love my mama to death, just like I love my dad to death, but she don't listen. She she got left behind. She was in, in that line with all the other people. So when she called everybody's name, she told everybody to come with her in a single file line. Now, when we got to where we were going, it was the big buses. They looked like mega buses. The buses were big and it was a they was they were they were parked like at an angle like this. Like you know how when you go to a Greyhound bus station or something, you see the buses lined up neatly. They were like that. But the buses were pretty. Like they were luxury. Like something I know I would never probably on this planet would have rolled in because I can't afford it. <laughs> so we get to the buses, we still in the background hearing the gunshots. She said, now, everybody, some of the relatives you will see soon. Everything will be okay. So she told me to go on the bus. I was the first one in on that bus. I was the first one. And I remember stepping onto it. I was like, wow, this is nice. Then I woke up. I was like, what was that? Now, I'm going to tell y'all like this. I never knew anything about chariots. Or nothing like that until I started reading the Bible about the chariots um, but these were buses even though we got we were put on a vehicle when the time comes when the second coming happens we're gonna be lifted into a vehicle a chariot we're not just gonna fly up and just be all in the sky oh no it's not gonna be like that he's gonna come back pissed off that's the best word i could say pissed off like uh, your own dad you know how when a black per parent get mad yeah he finna come destroy all nations he's only gonna gather his elect okay all that stuff that that fantasy world stuff on how he's coming back oh no he finna come back to destroy this place okay only thing i can tell y'all is to prepare for it prepare your homes meaning you need to prepare your heart and if you're if you're a nasty evil person oh no you're gonna get you're gonna be with the ones that's gonna get left here getting messed up okay because that's where he sees is through your heart he ain't gonna go see nothing else but through your heart that's how he judge people because he know what's in your heart okay all i got to say is he's pissed off and I ain't gonna, I'm trying not to cuss, but shit finna hit the fan. Like, it is about to go down. I feel like it's gonna go down in 2020. Okay, so all I got to say is prepare for what's about to happen. I'm going to make a second video, and this is another Rapture Dream. Bye, guys. <sighs>